the highly compelling topic of sex with Dennis Ovens refers to the interbreeding events that took place between modern humans, Homo sapiens, and Denisova humans, a distinct group of archaic humans closely related to Neanderthals. Although the Denisovans, or Denisova humans, were first identified from a finger bone fragment and a few teeth discovered in the Denisova cave in Siberia, their genetic legacy is still present in modern human populations, particularly in parts of Asia and Oceania. Not all researchers agree with using the term Denisova human to refer to this diverse group, but in this video we will use this term for simplicity. This video will cover various aspects of Denisova modern human interactions, including the genetic evidence of interbreeding, the transmission of Denisova genes, studies on Denisova blood types, and even the speculative mating dynamics that may have played out in ancient times. Additionally, we will explore insights from studies on Denisova bone structure inferred from DNA. Intriguingly, the genetic data suggests that in most cases, male Denisova interbred with modern human females, indicating the potential nature of the interactions. The first indication of Denisova and modern human interbreeding was discovered through the analysis of ancient DNA, extracted from a 40,000-year-old finger bone fragment found in the Denisova cave. Researchers were able to sequence the Denisova genome, revealing that certain modern human populations, particularly in Southeast Asia, Melanesia and Oceania, carry Denisova DNA. Around 5% of the genome of some of these populations derive from Denisova humans. One of the intriguing aspects of understanding genetic exchange between humans and Denisova humans is the study of blood types. Research has suggested that Denisova humans had a genetic diversity in blood types, similar to that of modern humans, including ABO blood groups and RH factors. Recently, scientists conducted an analysis of the genomes of Neanderthal humans and Denisova humans, and identified variations in the ABO gene, indicating that Denisova had the full range of blood types. This genetic diversity suggests that Denisova were not a small, isolated population, but rather a more genetically diverse group, similar to Neanderthals. The presence of multiple blood types in Denisova genes hints at a complex population structure, likely involving distinct subgroups spread across different regions. It is conceivable that just as modern humans have had population migrations and expansions, Denisova might have had their own migrations, which could have influenced their encounters with modern humans. The study of these ancient blood types has helped researchers understand how certain blood group alleles were inherited by modern humans, providing evidence of the interbreeding events that occurred between these species. As stated, another fascinating aspect of Denisova human interbreeding is the discovery that Denisova genes found in modern human populations often seem to originate predominantly from male Denisova. Studies have suggested that the genetic material passed down through interbreeding events was more likely to come from male Denisova mating with female Homo sapiens. One explanation for this phenomenon is based on patterns of mitochondrial DNA, which is only passed down from mothers to their offspring. In most cases where ancient interbreeding has been identified, Scientists would expect to find a mix of mitochondrial DNA from both parent species if interbreeding was balanced between male and female individuals. However, Denisova mitochondrial DNA has not been found in modern humans, suggesting that the offspring of female Denisova and male modern humans either did not survive or were not as successful at passing on their genes. This skewed pattern has led researchers to hypothesize that interactions between male Denisova and female Homo sapiens were more common, or at least more evolutionarily successful. The reasons for this are still hotly debated, but may be related to social structures, competition, or even genetic compatibility. The interbreeding between Denisova humans and modern humans likely occurred across various environments and regions, from the chilly highlands of Central Asia to the warm, tropical climates of Southeast Asia. Most evidence points to interbreeding events occurring as modern humans migrated through island Southeast Asia, so it is conceivable to imagine such interactions on the tropical beaches of these regions. If we were to imagine a scene on a tropical beach on the Andaman Sea tens of thousands of years ago, it is possible that early humans arriving from the West 
might have encountered groups of Denisova. These meetings could have been driven by the shared need for resources like food, water, and shelter. As Homo sapiens groups migrated through these tropical regions, they may have established temporary camps along the coast some 70,000 years ago. The sun dipped low over the Andaman Sea, casting a warm golden glow over the sandy shores. The beach lay quiet beneath a violet dusk, the air thick with the scent of salt and wet earth. A tall, robust Homo sapiens man walked along the shoreline, his bare feet sinking into cool sand when he saw her. The young Denisova woman moved with an untamed grace, emerging from the shadows of the trees, her skin dark as wet clay, hair black hanging long and loose around her shoulders. She was unlike any woman of his own people, a creature of forest and earth, with eyes that seemed to hold the secrets of deep, wild places. He approached slowly, his heart thundering, the space between them closing in a way that felt both inevitable and forbidden. He reached out, his hand hovering near her cheek, and she leaned into his touch, her skin warm and alive beneath his fingertips. They moved together with an animalistic simplicity that needed no words, their bodies speaking a language older than their species. She pulled him down with her into the sand, the world narrowing to the warmth of their bodies pressed together, the rhythm of their breaths mingling with the distant, steady crash of waves. When they parted, she rose silently, her silhouette dark against the fading light, leaving him alone on the sand. Meanwhile, another study titled Multiple Deeply Divergent Denisovan Ancestries in Papuans found there were at least three separate Denisova lineages. The study found that the Denisovans of Siberia and that the two branches in Southeast Asia and Papua were as distinct as Neanderthal humans and modern humans. Therefore, these three groups should have separate names. But again, for simplicity, we will refer to this group simply as the Denisova humans. The discovery of a Denisova molar in Laos provides concrete evidence that this group inhabited regions much further south than previously confirmed. This find aligns with genetic studies indicating that Denisova DNA is present in modern populations in Southeast Asia, Melanesia, and Oceania. The find suggests that Denisova humans were highly adaptable and capable of thriving in diverse environments. From the cold, mountainous regions of Siberia to the warm, tropical climates of Southeast Asia, the Denisova appear to have had a broad ecological range. The Denisova mola discovered in Laos is believed to be around 160,000 years old, based on dating techniques applied to sediments in the cave. The tooth, specifically a large third molar, bears similarities to Denisova molars found in the Denisova cave. This was confirmed by morphological analysis, which suggested that the tooth belonged to a young female Denisova. The large, robust nature of the molar aligns with what scientists have seen in other Denisova dental remains, indicating a trend of large teeth among this hominin group. Nevertheless, the skeletal remains of the Denisova are minimal, but recent advances in DNA technology have provided insights into their physical structure. Based on genetic analysis, scientists have reconstructed certain aspects of Denisova physiology, suggesting that they were robust, with strong limbs and a stocky build. This analysis has been made possible through the study of ancient DNA, which allowed researchers to infer Denisova bone density, facial structure, and muscularity. In fact, they were even more stocky than Neanderthals. The study, titled Reconstructing Denisovan Anatomy Using DNA Methylation Maps, aimed to infer the physical characteristics of Denisova humans by analyzing patterns of DNA methylation. This method provides a novel approach to understanding the anatomy of extinct hominins, especially when skeletal remains are scarce, as is the case with the Denisova. By comparing the methylation patterns of Denisova genes with those of modern humans and Neanderthals, researchers were able to make predictions about how Denisova genes influenced physical traits. The study made several intriguing findings about Denisova physiology. As stated, Denisova humans were likely robust and muscular, similar to Neanderthals, but with some unique features. The DNA methylation analysis suggested they had adaptations that would make their limbs strong and well-suited to physically demanding environments. This aligns with the general robustness inferred from Denisova molars, which were large and strong, 
hinting at a diet that required significant chewing power. Denisova molars are large and uniquely shaped, suggesting that Denisova may have had a different diet compared to both Neanderthals and modern humans. These differences in dental anatomy also hint at other aspects of their skull and facial structure, leading researchers to conclude that Denisova might have had broader, flatter faces. Further, studies of genetic markers related to bone structure indicate that the Denisova, like Neanderthals, were likely well adapted to physically demanding environments with stronger muscle attachments. Analysis of Denisova DNA also suggested adaptations in the limb and hand bones, hinting at powerful hands capable of grasping and manipulating tools. This complements the robust build inferred from other aspects of their skeletal structure, pointing to an archaic human well adapted for strength and endurance. One of the most significant insights was regarding their facial structure. The distinct facial features and skull structure indicate that they were a unique group of archaic humans, adapted in ways that set them apart from both Neanderthals and modern humans. The study predicted that Denisova humans had a distinct cranial shape, different from Neanderthal humans and modern humans. While exact details about the brain's structure were harder to determine, the differences in skull shape suggest there may have been variations in how certain parts of the brain developed, which could have implications for understanding their cognitive abilities and behaviours. In summary, the study's findings provide valuable insights into how Denisova humans might have lived and adapted to their environments. The robust build and strong limb structure suggest a lifestyle that involved a significant amount of physical labour, likely from hunting Asian elephants and other megafauna, and carrying meat back to their camps. By examining how genes were regulated in Denisova genomes, researchers were able to paint a picture of a hominin group that was both physically robust and distinct in its anatomy. These insights help us understand not only the biological diversity of ancient humans, but also the complexity of interactions that led to the survival and adaptation of modern humans who carry Denisova genetic legacies to this day. This reconstruction of Denisova bone structure has helped scientists understand how these archaic humans were physically distinct from modern humans. It also sheds light on how Denisova genes passed down through interbreeding could have contributed to physical traits in some modern human populations, such as robust limb bones and stronger musculature seen in certain groups. The study of the Denisova and their interactions with modern humans provides a fascinating window into our shared evolutionary history. Through genetic analysis, scientists have uncovered not only the presence of Denisova DNA in modern human populations, but also the nature of how these genes were passed down. As scientists continue to uncover more about Denisova genetics, bone structure, and their role in our ancestry, we gain deeper insights into how these ancient humans contributed to the story of who we are today. Finally, according to another peer-reviewed study in the journal Science, human skin tone has varied for 900,000 years, and some ancestral light-skinned gene variants are shared between the African Bushmen and archaic hominins, such as Neanderthals and Denisovans, which suggests a shared common ancestry for this trait before the split of the three hominin lineages. And with that tantalizing statement, we leave you to ponder the mysteries of our shared human history. And before you go, please share, comment and check out the other videos on our channel. Thank you and take care.